and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to go out and do some keyboard and mouse flying for all the uh, people out there that don't have joysticks. Uh, this seems to be a hell of a lot of people. I'm going to try and make this a lot easier for you. So if you're first time visiting Let's Fly VFR, please feel free to subscribe, like and share if you like the content. So getting into the cockpit, here we have the throttle and mixture controls. These are all your keyboard controls. You'll need your trim and flaps up and down as well. That's all there for you. If you happen to have an aircraft that's got a prop control, a twin or something, that's there. If you want to get rid of all those green squares that you'll see in the cockpit, you just need to go back into the menu and do that. Brakes and foot brakes. Uh, that's all you need to do that. And the hard one really is this uh, doing the rudders. Now you can probably do auto rudder, but if you want to do rudder, I'm going to show you how to set that up as well. Um, you just need uh, three keys to do that. It's not super easy to fly with it, but you can. So here's how you do it. I've got it set up here in just in the joystick key binds, and I've used delete, control, and page down to set up. So if you want to put a key in, as you can see, you'll probably find this empty. Hit the plus, and then just push a key on your keyboard. Uh, be careful that it doesn't do something else important that you need in X-Plane. And then hit save, and you are done. Click that little red one, so we got the rudder controls, delete, end, and page down. Now, you can make it any three you like. It doesn't matter where you want to put them. It's whatever's most convenient for you, but that's uh, what I did, because if I want to fly in VR as well and fly, it makes it very easy for me to feel that on the keyboard if I need to do that. Um, that's probably going to be a bit of a challenge, but it's something maybe we'll give a go in a future video. So we're taxing out. Just use a couple of taps to get yourself around the corner. Remember, the aircraft, uh, especially on the runway, is going to want to go to the left. So you're always going to start it with one or two taps of uh, right rudder just to get you aligned. Once you get fast enough, the rudder needs less use, really, uh, because the vertical tail behind you will um, keep you reasonably straight. But just initially, if you want to start off a little bit slower on the power and feed it in, and just a tap or two, you can see you can see me visibly just tapping it because it'll just it'll start to swing left and then it'll swing right as it needs a little more. So you can go mainly to the right, and then you might center if you're getting a little bit more control. It's easier to center than to to tap back because it immediately centers for you. But you can see that's not bad. And this is only my second flight since I uh, decided to do another video for you guys on flying with keyboard and mouse because I get so many questions uh, online about it. So um, I'm hoping this is going to help you out a lot, guys. We might do some twins and helicopters down the road. And there's also a really good add-on that you can use called um, Easy, it's an Easy Mouse Yoke or something like that. Anyway. I've done a video on that in the past. We'll see whether that works well in uh, X-Plane 12 and I'll show you a little bit more detailed in how to install that because that was a problem for a lot of guys. So as you can see we're getting out. The um, control uh, is just holding down the right mouse button to, uh, to hold the joystick or the yoke and as you move it right and left you can do roll and if you pull it back towards you you'll get climb and if you push your nose down you'll get nose down attitude uh, so it's well, honestly I'm not shaking around as much as the animation uh, is showing there it's because I'm often getting over to like maximum which is just a little bit of practice I would suggest if you uh, go into the settings in Windows and maybe desensitize your mouse movement a little bit you'll probably find it a lot smoother than what you're seeing here with me as we fly over uh, I think it's Salisbury Heights here in, Ad in Adelaide. This is my uh, my hometown for many years, although I'm uh, currently living in sunny Thailand. Been here for over a year now again. Love it. But anyway, let's get around onto our down downwind leg, and uh, I'm just going to probably probably cut some of this out because there's not a lot to see here. And then we'll get around on the base and the landing phase of things. That's always going to be a handful, I think, and with only just a couple of flights under my belt, uh, including this one, um, I think that's going to be a little funny, probably. So uh, bear with me on when we get to doing that. But 
like everything, if you've been flying this way for a while, I'm sure you're going to find it relatively easy. Um, if you're struggling to find the keys in just getting X-Plane 11 or 12, because it does work in either, uh, you should be fine. Trimming will be your secret, guys, though. Um, on takeoff, getting a little bit of nose down trim, I think you'll find will help you a little bit, because it won't balloon so much when it comes off the end of the runway. And you can take your... Uh, your mouse off the controls once you're flying level and got it trimmed um, you can take the mouse off the yoke and uh, go click on autopilot buttons and things like that so you can make the flight a little bit easier for yourself as which I'm trying to get around here on final it's a bit of a dodgy uh, <laughs> a bit of a dodgy approach but we'll get there we'll see where we end up Yeah, just take your time with it. Try and keep your movements as smooth as you can. Uh, I think my mouse is too sensitive at the moment, so a little bit of a push or a little bit of a movement backwards sort of has it all over the place. So, But nice and smooth, good frame rates, and everything is pretty much maxed out at 1080p on my 3070. So um, that's going pretty well. Still struggles a little on VR, but it's uh, the settings I've done in recent videos can show you how to really get a really good uh, result there too and I'm still enjoying it in between my combat flying on DCS which I've been a <laughs> bit of <laughs> been doing a lot of of late been really enjoying that and if you're uh, into combat sims BMS 4.37 has come out recently now with VR support with Steam VR so if you're into combat sims and uh, you don't want to pay anything um, if you check letsflyvfr.com out and search for Falcon BMS, you'll see it in the menus. I'll show you how to get the whole lot down for absolutely free. I'm getting a bit shaky here on late final, as you can see, a bit nervous. The heart rate was up a bit trying to get down here. Not sure if we're going to make it on the runway here, but I'm not going to crash, is, is my hope. Good thing they cut the grass here at uh, Parafield Airport. There we go. We're going to roll back on, take out a, uh, a taxi light in the process, but we're back on the ground. So I hope you, that shows you if you haven't flown and you don't have a mouse, uh, don't have a yoke or a joystick, you can certainly fly X-Plane with, with this in your own time. I'll catch you back here at Let's Fly VFR again real soon. Bye-bye.